everyone. Welcome to Wednesday's edition of Take 5. It's already Wednesday. The first two days, um, I don't know if you watched them, but I felt slow and sluggish. So if I looked tired, I didn't mean to, but I listened to them and my voice sounded bass, you know. Anyway, I'm a little more awake today. Maybe it's more coffee, maybe it's more sleep, but it's Wednesday. We're doing Take 5. We're in a series that we're looking at spiritual formation and the various disciplines, the exercises, the rhythms that go into um, spiritual disciplines that help us grow and to become more like Christ. And this week we've been looking at a, a, an outward discipline, not the discipline of prayer or fasting or the, some of the more internal ones that we've already looked at. This week we're looking at the outward ones, um, sort of under the umbrella called simplicity. On Friday we'll look at uh, sacrifice. We're going to look at Romans 12, 1 and 2. Tomorrow we're going to look at stewardship. I want to close with simplicity today. And we're going to look at some of Jesus' words in Matthew 6, where he says, be careful where you store your treasures. Simplicity. Simplicity is the ability to live under the philosophy is that more is not necessarily better. That, in fact, less can be better. And if less is better, maybe the more that I could have had, I can use to uh, help other people and honor the Lord as well. You know, a few years ago, Sue and I moved from our dream home. We designed it and planned it. and It was a beautiful house, but our daughter had moved away and we were moving on a little bit. And so we had to downsize. That was quite an experience downsizing, you know. Um, do you go through your stuff? And do we need this? And do we not need that? And we learned that I'm a bit more of a hanger honor. I don't want to use the word hoarder, although Sue might. I'm a bit more of a hanger honor than Sue is. And so we'd look at something and, no, we can't get rid of that. And yeah, we have to get rid of it. And we got rid of a lot of stuff because we moved from a pretty big house to a, no, not a small place where we live now, but it's smaller. And when you downsize like that, you learn what's important, what's what's really in your heart. But you also learn, um, do I really need all these things? And that's that's sort of what simplicity does. Um, it creates margins. It creates spaces. Literally, um, we wouldn't have had any space in our new place if we took all of our old stuff. So mar uh, simplicity is a downsizing. It says, I don't need all of this stuff. It creates margin. It creates spaces, literally. But even, I want to say, psychologically or spiritually, it can create a bit of a margin. I don't really need to depend on that new car every two years. I don't need to depend on. And so it's, it's yeah. Let me just, I want to read before t time runs out from Matthew 6. Um, Jesus talks about, in, in many ways, simplicity. I want you to listen to the issue of, of waste and of heart. Because in many ways, simplicity is saying less can be better, can be more, because my heart is in something different than all of the things that it's normally uh, uh, the stuff that I accumulate. Listen to what he says. Don't store up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy, where thieves break in and steal. In a sense, that's hoarding. That's don't, don't store up for your treasures. Don't have your treasures in everything that's in your garage or everything that's in your house or all of those things. It's not bad to have those things, but if those are your treasures, be careful. They, they can become wasteful. Where moth and rust destroy. I've never seen a car not susceptible to rust. But store up for your treasures in heaven where neither moth, moth nor rust destroys and where thieves don't break in and steal. Simplicity it says where what am I what am I really treasuring? And when you go through the downsizing you can reflect on is that really important? Do I really need that? And here's where his principle is where your treasure is there your heart will be also. Where your treasure is there your heart will be also. Looking at all of those things in our house that we downsized my treasure was in those, and so my heart was in those. You get rid of it and you put your treasure in other places. That's where your heart is, where your treasure is. Where is your treasure? If all of my treasure, if all of my money, if all of my love support goes into my stuff, that's where my heart will be. If my treasure is 
with the Dignity Freedom Network, with the people in, in India and the ministry we support there, if my treasure is in my local church, if my treasure is in Compassion International, you pick something that's really worthwhile. When you invest in that, when your treasure is there, it's not only helping you live a, a simpler life here, but it's allowing your heart to be in the places it should be, as opposed to, in a sense, the places where dust and moths, and rust, and all of that. Good principle. Downsizing. Consider it. Give it, give, it a, give it a shot. Declutter. Go into your garage. Go into your basement. And go through stuff. Get rid of stuff. And watch where your heart is. That's all for today. I won't tell you how to paint your house tomorrow. <laughs> I'll see you on Thursday. And we're going to talk a little bit about stewardship, which is sort of the cousin of simplicity. I'm out. Ciao.